So I've got another useful automotive diagnostic product uh, recently coming onto the market at affordable prices that I'd like to bring to your attention. These guys, fuse loops that allow us to get current clamp measurements and or oscilloscope waveforms. Now they fairly recently come on the market at a very reasonable price. Prior to that, this is what we would find on the marketplace. Uh, pretty bulky, relatively pricey, and uh, only available in the one or two sizes. Like maybe about five or six years ago, in an attempt to find an affordable solution to that, I made a video uh, using um, fuse taps like this, right? Like these are to add an extra fuse circuit for accessories. That's their intended purpose. But I took two of them and put them together in a rather clever way in order to create a current loop. There was a little bit of mental gymnastics that went into this. So today we would not be pursuing this, right? Like not now that the marketplace has changed and that those other fuse loops have become available. So as not to mislead someone that would come across that old video and pursue this, I deleted that video. So the channel is like five or six years old, right? So the marketplace has really, really changed in that period of time. Like this is a really fast moving sector. So um, here's another example. These 150 PSI sensors, right? That I really tried to make work for in-cylinder pressure testing. And the first few that I got of these had a little bit of wiggle room below zero PSI, even though they were not absolute pressure sensors as such. But, like, I, I flogged that horse, and uh, I really tried to make this $10 option for in-cylinder pressure testing work out. But uh, in the fullness of time, uh, present day, we have uh, gadgets number 122 with uh, Rotkey that, uh, man, that, that's a really low-cost option to give you very good, decent in-cylinder waveforms. And ready to use. Rotkey is a very small company in Ukraine. Throughout this whole mess and turmoil over there, they've continued to uh, deliver like it's unreal. And the other option is the 12 volt 10 bar sensor. There's a slight amount of uh, DIY in that, but very easy. Uh, in gadgets number 139. Anything that was related to trying to make this work, those videos I've also deleted so as not to mislead anybody down that path. Here's another example. The Hantec 6022BE is quite power hungry and it kind of liked to have an auxiliary power supply. And that all got kind of messy so I came up with this little idea of an organizer that you could have the power bank on one side and the Hantec on the other and it could hang off the hood latch of a vehicle and organize everything, right? So in that five or six year period, three things change. So today's tablets seem to be able to power the Hantec 6022 without auxiliary power. That's one. The other is the advent of 3D printing. And I've got one and lots of other people are getting them. And if I needed an organizer, there would be a lot more eloquent solutions today with a 3D printer than what this was. And three, there are much better oscilloscope options on the market today than this 6022BE. I wouldn't want anybody to go out and look at those old videos, influence their purchase decisions, and go pick one of these up. When if your line of work is really into these plus or minus 5 volt oscilloscopes, then I think that the Lodo instruments, the OSC 482, OSC 2002, if you're really chasing bandwidth, those are much better options today, right? Uh, better hardware, better software. If you're in the automotive input ranges, you're far better off with Martin Lawrence HS502 than you would be with the Hantec 1008. 
Two awesome channels are far better than having eight nearly useless channels. So early videos that were kind of uh, featuring these oscilloscopes have also been deleted. In all, about a dozen videos were deleted from the gadgets playlist. Now that would be a tough decision for any content creator and especially one where all of the videos were numerically ordered, right? So you leave gaps in there. But it was best for the channel and best for the viewers and uh, it was the way to go. Now back to these fuse loops. Uh, you can find them on AliExpress. They're sold individually. You'll find four sizes on there and they'll ding you with shipping charges for each one. There's a second option to source these. Right? At my request, I asked Martin Lauren to stock them on this store. I'll put a link in the video description. He sells it as a bundle of five. That's right. There's an additional loop uh, not found on AliExpress, to the best of my knowledge, and that's the maxi size. Right? So five sizes bundled together, one shipping charge. If you happen to like other stuff on Martin's store, you add them to this shipment, one shipping charge. Mitigating shipping charges in this game is the whole idea. So when I find that the marketplace offers affordable automotive diagnostic solutions such as this, I like to bring them to your attention. Take care, guys.